Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a data a PostgreSQL database and create a special extension using pgadmin. I'll also show you how you can connect your created database to QGIS using the QGIS Data Source Manager, and then we'll query your database using the database management tool. So first on your pgadmin. If you have yours installed correctly, this should be no problem, but otherwise, check the description of this video so that you get it right. You can go to Object, Create, Database. On the database, you select a name, call it Special Data Hub. On, on our Super User Postgres. And then save. Now we have our database created. Let's go on to add a special extension. We go down to um, schemas. Sorry, extensions. Let's click create extension and enter the name post GIS save fine so we are done here now go to our QGIS workspace I already have a file imported I'll drop a link in the description of the video if you do not know how to import files here to create a post GIS connection Go to Data Source Manager. If you don't see this um, button here, right click on your toolbar and you see among toolbars, Data Source Manager, make sure it's ticked. So go to Data Source Manager, click on PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL, you see new, you see edit. So we want to create a new connection. New. On the name, you can give it whatever comes to mind. Let's call it special. And then our hosts, local hosts. Port 5432 as default. Database will set the name of the database that was created. Special Data Hub. And then for authentication, all you need to do click on the plus icon to add up an authentication. For the name, if you are setting this up for the first time, it will request a master password, but otherwise, let's call it So for our name we call it special username post grace our password let's just call it save so for these other options here the optional but i'll just stick allow saving and loading to QGIS database and then also allow list tables with no geometry now when using the QGIS database manager tool we we'll use it to assess our special database so go to your DB manager sorry let's take that again click on database DB manager and then go down to post GIS now you see our connected database here.
click on the drop down of it it's connected now to import a file we can use the default schema here public but in case you want to create multiple schemas you go down to schema create schema let's call it let's use um sdh something that might be easier to call so to import files import a layer you can import preferably i prefer to import the file into my qgis workspace normally before importing here but you can also import directly using this button otherwise it provides the options with a drop down depending on the number of files that are in the qgis workspace so you click on that schema you select the schema which you want to import it into the table this one you can use it to as a simpler alias let's call it um, community centers right com send or com underscore centers so options you have primary key geometry column all of these things you can check them up if you want to you can always change them if need be create a special index yes and convert field names to lowercase just in case and you click on ok import was successful now to write a query to write a query, you click on this SQL window. So here you have number of queries. Um, here you can write your query. Say select select star from. sdh dot what's the name of our table oh boy all right see here com dot center c o m underscore center to run the query you click on execute or control r so you see the result here so you can save a query at times it's very important when you are running different queries so that you can always get back to a query without having to write it from scratch you save the query as select or save so for your saved queries you can always assess them here using this drop down and then you can delete the query you can save it as a file then if you want to load this into our workspace let's try something else here um okay we id let's try we id equal to so let's load that file into our workspace click on load as new layer and then you see okay yeah geometry column dot geom id so let's load All right, it's in there already so you can turn off this and you see it so you can look for you can load in the result of a query directly into your qgis workspace immediately you are done so that's a big plus then there was something i failed to set here layer name prefix layer name prefix you can call it um second community center just anything you want 
that will affect the name that comes up when it's loaded into to export query results as a file here so you can click on the query on the um layer and then export the file select the um, file format select the name you can use this to select the directory which you want to save it in and click on ok well to save your query results to your postgis database you could go to project you go to save to and you see postgresql click on postgresql and you see the connection you can set it special data hub fine you can change the connection name here you can change the schema name here and call the project youtube click on ok let's now go to our pg admin to confirm our file here right click refresh go to schemas see our public our database that was created our schema that was created is here under that point you'll see tables go to tables and you see it and it's also saved here so that will be it for this video in the next video i'll be working on number of queries different special queries which you can write in that will be it for today i'll see you in the next video do well to subscribe to my channel